Well, it stinks. This is the second time I've had to do this video. I lost it. That sucks. Uh, anyways. Where's my little pen at? This 210 has an understood exponent of 1. It's 210 to the first. These are not their answers. Plain and simple, those guys don't work. Because 210 should be on the outside. Now you talk about x to the 4 thirds, we have a power of 4 and we have a root of 3. So you might be thinking cubic root of x to the fourth, all right? 3 enters 4 one time, 1x one outside. 3 enters 4 once, remember, think about this. 4 divided by 3 is 1 with a remainder of 1, 1x one inside. So I'm looking for 1x one outside, 1x one inside, done. It's this one, 1x one outside, 1x one inside. There you go. Easy peasy. Japanesey. I wish this thing would stop hiding. I need to dock that or something. The average cost of a gallon of milk in the United States between the years of 1995 and 2018 can be modeled by the following function. So let's do this the easiest way possible, uh, which is to look at a graph. Right? That's what I say. If you don't know what to do, look at a graph. There are so many of you juniors that I wish you would just embrace the graph. Like, it's the easy stuff. I don't know what to do. Let's look at a graph. Now, I didn't read the full question. I'll leave that up to you. But the goal is to figure out where the maximum is. And I'll show this two ways, even though it's my lunch break and I'd rather get out of this room. So I'm just typing pushing buttons. Don't be the kid who doesn't have to worry about having a T key. Alright, so I've typed in. You guys were trying to do a Zoom 6. I think the key word on this text is a maximum, right? Maximum. So I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up, I don't know, 100 units. I'm probably not going to see what I want. I'm going to have to look to the right, too. Sooner or later, it should start growing. Let's change the X max to be something like 50. This looks 50 years into the future. You wonder why I didn't do like 2018 or so? It's because I can read. Apparently I've looked too far up. It says in the text, T is the years since 1995. I've looked too far up. Oh, this is the average cost of a gallon of milk. Why did I look up $100? Five bucks would have done it. All right, you can kind of see that it curved up, and then something happens. It becomes negative. This is nonsense. I'm going to go to second trace. There's a maximum function. You've probably noticed it if you've been there. And I'm going to get to the left of the maximum, and I'm going to get to the right of the maximum. And, then we're, and I pressed enter both times. Then enter for guess. The maximum is about, according to that, 18.3. So that is, okay, let's just use the highlighter. 18.3 years after 1995. So if I do 1995 and, you know, I add the 18, I believe I end up with 2013. Choice two. Not a hard problem. I said I was going to do this two ways, but I, I just don't want to. I want to go to my lunch break. The temperature F in degrees Fahrenheit after T hours of a pot roast put into an oven is given by the equation 
Fahrenheit is 325 minus 185 e to the negative 4 tenths of t. What was the temperature of the roast when it was put in the oven? This is common sense. No time had passed when it was put yeah, into the oven. So let t equal 0. So what I'm thinking here is the temperature at zero time, f of zero, is 325 minus 185 e raised to the negative four times the zero. You know, I would, I would expect this to be non-calc because every kid who takes algebra two, and I mean this. And it's not going to be anybody who watches this, but every kid that takes Algebra 2 should know that anything to the zero power is equal to 1. Anything. So I have 325 minus 185. A negative 4 times 0 is 0. E to the 0 is a 1. This becomes 325 minus 185, which is what, 140 degrees? Bam. Choice four. Last one, and Milbrath can go on his lunch break. The roots of the equation x squared plus 6x plus 10 in simplest form must be, and I'll do this two ways. You should know the quadratic formula. You should know it. You should know it by heart. You should know x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's what you should know, kids. A is 1. It's found in front of x squared. B is 6. And C is 10. I know some of you are thinking, they're like, I don't need to know the quadratic formula. I'm going to work at McDonald's. Joke's on you. Look into the trades, at least. Opposite of a positive 6 is a negative 6. Plus or minus the square root of a 6 that is squared. Minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is 10. All sitting pretty over twice a 1. If I do the math on the inside, if I'm thinking 36 minus 40, I get negative 4 all over 2. Now, in my God-given brain, I think about root negative 4, and I know that that is imaginary, so it is plus or minus twice i. Do you see that guy right there? Do you see that guy? It's not that guy. It's never that guy. This is where the creator of the test knows that kids say root 4 is 2 root 2. He knows it. It's always wrong. Don't be that kid. Anyways, moving on, I'm at negative 6 plus or minus twice i. Both pieces sitting pretty over a 2. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. 2 over 2 is 1 plus or minus i. Bam. Now, if you would be as so lucky as to have this on a calculator part of your EOC, you wouldn't look at a graph because graphs don't show you imaginary answers. You would take a negative 3, add an i. You would store it to x. And you would see if it's a root. Roots and zeros are the same thing. So you would type the equation in. Of course, there's always that kid who doesn't realize that you have to actually do the storage first. Some of y'all just don't pay enough attention. And it's a zero. Ta-da! All right, there you go. There is the second part of this assignment. Second time I had to do this video because I forgot to save it last time. Hope you enjoyed.